Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to solve this exponential inequality with absolute value. First, let us find a rational inequality that is equivalent to this one. Note here that the right-hand side of this inequality can be written as 25 raised to negative x. And because this 25 here can be written as 5 squared, then we can write the right-hand side of this inequality as 5 raised to negative 2x. And because we know that the exponential function y equals 5 raised to x is an increasing function, then this inequality holds if and only if the power of the left-hand side is less than or equal to the power of the right-hand side. So from here, we're going to obtain a rational inequality by considering two cases. First, we can consider the case where x is greater than or equal to 0, and the second is for x less than 0. Let's look at those uh, two cases. For x greater than or equal to 0, we can write the denominator on the left-hand side as uh, 3 plus x. So we can just ignore the absolute value here. And now we can already move this negative 2x to the left-hand side. And we'll get here 2 minus x all over 3 plus x plus 2x less than or equal to 0. And combining these uh, two terms into a single fraction, we'll get here 2 minus x and then plus. You multiply these two you'll get here 6x plus uh, 2x squared, and then all over 3 plus x. And we can simplify the numerator to uh, 2 plus 5x plus uh, 2x squared. And we can solve this inequality using sign chart. So if we factor out the numerator, we'll get there 2 plus x times 1 plus 2x. So the values of x that will make our numerator equal to 0 are negative 2 and negative 1 half. And the value of x that makes the denominator 0 is negative 3. So we can draw our sign chart this way. And because x here is restricted to non-negative real numbers, so we are only interested in the sign of this left-hand side here in this subinterval, only in the interval negative 1 half to infinity. And if we're going to use a test value from this interval, let's say x equal to 0. So if we plug in 0 in this expression, we'll get 2 times 1 over 3, which is a positive number. Therefore, the value of this one in this interval, negative 1 half to infinity, is positive. And because the value of this is positive or greater than 0 for all x greater than or equal to 0, we conclude that there are no solutions that are greater than or equal to 0. Now, let's look at the other case, x less than 0. If x is less than 0, then this absolute value of x here is equal to negative x. Therefore, we can write the left-hand side of our inequality as 2 minus x all over 3 minus x. And again, moving the term on the right-hand side of this inequality to the left-hand side, we'll get the following inequality. And combining these two terms into a single fraction, we'll get the following. And simplifying the numerator, we'll get here negative 2x squared plus 5x plus 2. And if we multiply the numerator and denominator by negative 1, which is just equal to 1, so it doesn't change the direction of the inequality, we'll get here the inequality 2x squared minus 5x minus 2 all over x minus 3 less than or equal to 0. Again, let's solve this inequality using sign chart. So first, let's find the values of x that will make our numerator equal to 0. So let's solve the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 2 equals 0. And because this trinomial here is not factorable, so we can use quadratic formula to find the roots. And we'll get here x equal to negative b. So negative of negative 5 is 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And this can be simplified to 5 plus minus square root of 41 all over 4. Therefore, our sign chart will look something like this. And because the x values here are restricted to negative real numbers, then we are only interested in the sign of this expression in these two subintervals, because these are the intervals that contain the negative real numbers. And if we take, for example, a test value from this uh, interval here, let's say x equal to 0, then we'll see that the value of this expression is just negative 2 over negative 3, which is a positive number. 
So the sign of uh, this expression in this subinterval here is positive. And because the numerator and denominator of this rational expression here have distinct linear factors, we know that the signs here will be alternating. So if we know that it is positive in this interval, then it will be negative here and then positive in this interval, and then it will be negative in this interval. So we'll get here negative in the interval, negative infinity to 5 minus square root of 41 all over 4. You may also check that this sign here is correct by taking a test value in this subinterval. So what are the x values that will make this expression less than or equal to zero? So these are the x values that are less than or equal to 5 minus square root of 41 over 4. So note that at 5 minus square root of 41 all over 4, this expression here is equal to zero. So what are the solutions that are negative real numbers? They are the real numbers in the interval negative infinity to 5 minus square root of 41 all over 4, including the right endpoint. And because this inequality has no solutions that are greater than or equal to 0, so this interval here is also the solution set to this inequality. And because this inequality is equivalent to our original inequality, so this interval here is also the solution set to our original inequality. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.